On today's Star Wars Legends lore video, we look at the Yuuzhan Vong and try to figure out whether Palpatine created a militarized empire as a means to protect against a forthcoming invasion. Many Imperial or Palpatine sympathizers have long argued that Palpatine was actually good and that all of his actions in Star Wars Legends were done for the purposes of preparing the Star Wars galaxy for an eventual Yuuzhan Vong invasion. Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slatter. Today we'll be looking at that theory and trying to figure out whether it has any merit with direct references to Star Wars Legends works. If we really want to look at this issue, the first question we need to answer is whether Palpatine actually knew about the Yuuzhan Vong invasion before his death. The answer to that can be found fairly clearly in the novel The Outbound Flight. The Outbound Flight details an ultimately failed Republic project bearing the same name, which had been created in order to bypass the unknown regions and the hyperspace disturbance at the edge of the Star Wars galaxy, in order to find out what's beyond and perhaps eventually settle another galaxy. The book deals fairly heavily with the Chiss, the machinations of Darth Sidious, and the Jedi Council during the time of the Republic before the Clone Wars. There are a few passages worth note here, all which detail conversations between one of Darth Sidious's closest aides and Thrawn. In order to convince Thrawn to strike out against the outbound flight project, Sidious's aide says this, Palpatine is on a plane far different from the ones where beings like you and I exist. What's important right now is that Lord Sidious has access to information sources that the Jedi don't have. Thrawn responds by asking, and what do these sources tell him? There's an invasion coming, a massive assault force of dark ships, shadowy figures, and weapons of great power based on organic technology of a sort we've never seen before. We believe these far outsiders, as we call them, already have a foothold at the far edge of the galaxy, and even now have scouting parties seeking information on worlds and peoples to conquer. He continues, saying no one else in the Republic has knowledge of this, with the exception of the Jedi Vergier, who has disappeared in the unknown regions and presumed to be among the far outsiders. Thrawn understands this point, and this is in part why he agrees to attack the outbound flight. He says, while well, a single prisoner can only give hints of their origin, an entire ship full of them can provide all that would be needed for a successful invasion. This made it clear that Palpatine knew about the Yuuzhan Vong invasion before even the time of the Clone Wars. Not only that, but it seems like he acted in some measure to protect the galaxy against the Vong. Although admittedly wiping out a large contingent of Jedi Knights and Masters was likely also a very attractive possibility. However, at least at this point as Supreme Chancellor, there's no denying that he recognized a problem that the galaxy was not prepared for. It is admittedly unclear how Palpatine gained knowledge of the Yuuzhan Vong, but it is worth noting that he was the one who personally approved the outbound flight project. Unless he gained information about the Vong between the approval of the project and the order of its destruction, it seems like the killing of Jedi was at least equally important as protecting against the Vong. On the other hand, it should be noted that by the end of the book, Thrawn reveals that the Chiss do have knowledge of the Yuuzhan Vong and have actually fought successfully against them on at least one occasion. Later, when Thrawn was exiled by the Chiss and presented to the Empire, Palpatine recognized that his tactical knowledge of the Vong could be of use in the upcoming invasion. Still, what we've talked about so far kind of avoids the question. We've established that Palpatine did in fact know about the Vong. It makes sense, given that he is a powerful ruler, that he would want to protect the galaxy. However, was protection of the galaxy really his key motivation for militarizing the Republic and converting it into an empire? An in-universe text called Mithra Nirota Reconsidered, A Patriot's Perspective, argues that very point, saying that all of Palpatine's efforts were in order to protect the galaxy from the eventual invasion. However, in my opinion, that text is without real basis. First off, I think it's clear that many of Palpatine's actions, perhaps even most, don't actually forward the possibility of protecting against an invasion. Sure, it makes sense to build a powerful fleet and perhaps even Death Star super weapons. However, what does not make sense is the subjugation of people, the removal of individual rights, and the destruction of the Jedi Order, who were perhaps the greatest weapons against the Vong. The second and, in my opinion, more definitive point is that Palpatine's motivations, and really the motivations of all Sith, are clearly spelled out in the Plagueis novel. Palpatine wanted extraordinary power concentrated totally in himself because he believed he was a divine being who deserved to lead the galaxy. His main and ultimate motivation for converting a democratic republic into a militarized empire was the subjugation of people and the concentration of all power into himself. 
Palpatine was evil, there's no denying that. He killed for pleasure before he even became a Sith Lord. Ascribing his actions to a desire to protect the galaxy is a misunderstanding of his character. He desired power and did whatever possible to gain it and to not lose it. Changing his agenda to protect against the Vong also retcons the Star Wars story in a way that misunderstands the artist's original intention. It is true that some of the actions of Palpatine would have protected the galaxy from a Yuuzhan Vong invasion. However, that was not his purpose, it was more of a pleasant secondary effect. The presence of the Vong really had no impact on the way he formed the Empire, and he likely would have done the exact same thing had the Vong not even been a consideration. If anything, he likely saw the Vong as a benefit, an excuse to further militarize the government, gaining more power for himself, behind a common enemy as he did with the Jedi and during the Clone Wars. To summarize, although Palpatine was aware of the Yuuzhan Vong, in creating the Empire he was fulfilling his own interests, not trying to protect the galaxy. In fact, he did several things which actually weakened the galaxy and negatively affected their chance of preparing for a Yuuzhan Vong invasion. That however is just my opinion. Down in the comments I'd like you to answer the following questions. Did Palpatine think the Vong were a real threat, and in creating the Empire, was Palpatine's chief goal in protecting against a Vong invasion? If it wasn't his chief goal, do you think it was at least on his mind? Also, don't forget to post your ideas for future videos. Speaking of, in the past few days I've been putting my video ideas up to a vote for you guys on YouTube, Twitter, and Discord. If you aren't subscribed with notifications on, you should do so now. Also follow me on the other two platforms if you want to have a say in which videos get made. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys, as always, this has been Eckhart's Ladder, may the force be with you.